For a long time, youth have come up to challenge the tax regime for failing fresh enterprises and innovations. They say this has contributed to high levels of unemployment in the country. Who would want to avoid, who complain about taxation, taxation, well, are those are the ones who are the failures in life. Allah never complained about tax. The stories I told you here, they never complained about tax. They got on with it. Without taxation, my brother, you cannot put, uh, fill those potholes. Without being people doing taxes, where do you build, how do you build hospitals? Without taxes, how do you employ, employ uh, how do you pay salaries of, of nurses and doctors and, and all these teachers? How do you pay? These are the taxes. You have to collect taxes in order to, to pay this, this cost. While commissioning the gold mine microfinance in Tinder branch, Minister of State for Foreign Affairs, Okero Riem, commended efforts of young innovators in their involvement towards the social economic development of the economy. I'm encouraging young people to please live their dream and just stop uh, giving up, stop being discouraged by others and stop, uh, you know, lamentation that only government can solve your problems. Every business that seeks advisory services, those are the businesses that want to partner with. Even individuals like uh, people who are employed with side hustles, those are equally people that we are looking out for to partner with and enable our growth. Microfinance institutions in Uganda faced with the challenges of client distrust and many young people having no collateral for investment. Is ignorance. Many of us don't know and others also don't know that we don't know. So in business, uh, when you go after money alone, then money itself can end up killing your business. Business is much more than the money that we seek to make. So that for me I find as the biggest challenge in business. The growing trend of microfinance with digital forms of operation is hindering many from accessing its services due to the high levels of literacy rate by small scale and medium sized entrepreneurs. Abdul Nasir Lubwama for UBC.